I've got a good feeling about this. Well, we have to do something. We can't just sit around and wait for it to get magically fixed. Dad! You all right? What have they done to you? We haven't laid a finger on her. You've said some horrible things. We just told her the truth. Which we think she deserves to know. They said that Mum's not dead. They said that she's alive and in Costa Rica. How could you make up something like that? How could you lie to a young girl and tell her that Mum's dead when she's busy soaking up all lies. Sick and twisted lies. You're the sick and twisted one, Just mate. drop the act and save us all the hassle, eh? I don't know what they're talking about. May is alive and well and you know it. So do us a favour and do her a favour and tell her the truth before the police get here. I think I've had enough of this nonsense, haven't you? Come on. Just wait! Just don't you lay a finger on either of us. So come on. Guess that's it then, eh? Not whilst there's still breath left in my body. He's cracking and I know it. Stay with us on ITV. Corey's back in half an hour. Just do what I say and get in the car. You'll be nowhere, mate. Tim! Tom! Why? What are you going to do? Call the police? No, you mention it, yeah. Well, what evidence are you going to give them for your little fairy story? You haven't got any because you've made the whole thing up. So how come we've heard me on the phone? Sorry? Gina rang back the number you rang off that payphone. A maid answered and put me on. What payphone? Wow, that's some network coverage if you can reach beyond the grave. All right, so explain to me why she never went to her mum's funeral. And don't tell me that you had it in Costa Rica, because even an idiot wouldn't buy that. <laughs> That's your evidence. The ramblings of Gina, a certified nut job. You're going down, mate. That feeling you're getting around your neck, that's a noose getting tighter. You know, I don't mind you making wild accusations of me. But when you take advantage of a fragile young girl, fill in a head full of lies about a moment when she's still grieving, well, that's not sick. That's evil. No. You're the one that's evil. We're going to prove that. Come on, sweetheart. Let's leave these fantasies to their delusions. No, wait. Please, just admit what you've done to my mum. If you tell the police what really happened, then they'll go easier on you. Just move now. Or you'll be the one getting arrested. You can go to prison like your mum. The only one go to jail is you, mate. Olivia, please. I'm not lying to you. Your mum is still alive. Duncan accuses us of messing with his daughter's head. I mess with his head. Look, we messed up. OK? We now need to sit and think about what we're going to do next. What do you mean, what we're going to do next? He's not going to hang around, is he? He's going to be on the first plane out of here. Oh, see, I don't think he will be. You're joking, aren't you? He knows that we're onto him. Exactly. And you've seen how Olivia reacted. She genuinely thinks that her mum's died. So? So, Tim, him doing a runner is as good as admitting that he's guilty. But as if he cares what she thinks. He lied to her that her mum had died. The guy's a psychopath. Yeah, and a very clever one at that, which is why we need to think this time before we wade in. Well, it's a bit too late for that now, isn't it? What, are you giving up? No, I'm not giving up. I'm just going to make sure that he can't leave the country. How? You can't kidnap him. Can I? No, Tim, you can't. That's a stupid idea. Just listen to me, right? I might not be able to beat him with this, but I can with the enemy boot. So what are you going to do? Beat a confession out of him? Do you know what? You do that and you will get arrested, OK? What use to my mum are you behind bars? Look, I said I'd pick Jack up from after school club, OK? When I get back, we're going to sit and we're going to think of a plan. You're going to be here, right? Right? Right. You better have be. Brenda, I need a cab now.